Hi Pisces and welcome to your love story tarot reading for May 2019. This is a tarot reading where I go with just one storyline so this will resonate a hundred percent or it won't. I'm going to start by pulling a card for your energy Pisces and a card for the energy of the other person involved in this love story with you. So let's see what is going to come out. I honestly do not know. They have been a total mixed bag. You are my last read. So let's see, Pisces. On one side, we have Love Yourself. And I have to say, this has been a very popular card through all the readings. Um, people really waking up to their true value and worth, especially in regards to romantic situations and putting boundaries out there and refusing to accept less than they deserve. On the other side, we have Old Flame. Okay, so Pisces, um, there's a element of uh, somebody from the past coming back into your world. That's the focus of this particular reading. And based on these two cards, um, one person disconnected because they were not appreciated. With Love Yourself, this is where you weren't honored, you weren't valued, you uh, things were taken more than they were given and this is attached to an old flame this old flame is resurfacing back into your reality in the month of may so let's pull and i have to say that um a lot of these love readings or love story readings have been about reconciliations too it's very interesting where people who were the ones treating their partner not the greatest have truly woken up and realized Oh my gosh, you were everything. Like, what was I doing? What was I thinking? How do I make this right? All right. And uh, this flew out independence. So Pisces, this separation had a lot to do with gaining independence and uh, knowing true worth. Maturity coming out on the side. And so, uh, shift perception on this side. So, yeah, I have to say, with these cards that have now come out, um, there's definitely an element between the two where we both had to become a bit more in independent because we both could have had some codependency issues. Uh, and that's a, another reason why this relationship didn't initially work out. Over here, we had to have a huge shift in perception about who we are, what we are, how we treat people. And, um, you know, I just feel this is kind of more the side that was taking more than giving. And over here, it's this person had to really mature emotionally and put boundaries and say, you know what, I can't be treated like this anymore. I can't tolerate this. So let's see what the energy is that's existing between the, these two people in the month of May. Soulmate. So through this uh, disconnection, there's been a realization of soul connection and soul bond and that type of energy and uh, connection is not escapable. You can't just forget about it. And that's how most people realize, hey, that person may be a, a lot more significant in my world to my life story that I initially gave them credit for because I can't forget them. Like, no matter what I'm doing, like, they're just in my heart, they're in my soul. And over here, I get the sense this person just kind of was like, whatever about this, you know. And now, through this disconnection, they're coming into a deep realization. Whoa, 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 back up the bus. There was actually something really special about this person and this connection. Why did I act that way? Why did I do what I did? Well, all things are for purpose, and there's this need for both sides to gain a true sense of independence and self-worth. So let's pull some more cards, Pisces. All right, lessons learned, wanted to jump out.
Okay, so we have acceptance, support and encouragement, awakening emotions, temporary reconnection, and admiration. Okay, Pisces, what I see here is uh, with temporary, we'll pull more cards, but with temporary reconnection, this isn't like uh, the month of May is the month where we come back together and fall in love and all these things. What's happening in May is there's um, a sense of accountability that may be expressed where, you know, it's like, hey, I, I realized how I screwed up. I realized what I did wrong, and I'm sorry for that. I want you to know how much I truly admire you. You were really there for me. And um, it's like this person finally has these emotions awakening within them. So Pisces, you could be this side or you could be this side, but there's uh, emotions that are coming to life. And it's a recognition of how much this person put into this connection, this relationship and was there and how much this person took it for granted. And um, the separation, the disconnection was a very hard thing on both sides. And because there's this soulmate energy and um, we give each other energy and love. And um, once we're apart from each other, though the connection remains, this is noticed. The absence of this is noticed, okay? So I feel this temporary reconnection is this person wanting to come in and say, hey, I realize how badly I screwed things up. Like, I, I get it. Can I be in your world? Can we be friends? Can we be something? And it, it's kind of that intention, um, not, hey, let's get back together, all of that stuff, but it's very pure. It's I see you for who and what you are, and I just want you in my life, and for whatever that means, like I have no intention, no ulterior motive other than to let you know that I'm sorry for what's happened in the past, and it did affect me too. So, let's see. All right, so habit, routine, ungrateful. Uh, this is Two of Roses, distorted energy, pressure, scarcity. Uh, exciting or sensual rendezvous. Divine masculine of emotions. And uh, divine feminine of flames. Okay, Pisces, we have a couple here. So... Could be a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Doesn't have to be, but we have a feminine and a masculine here coming through. So um, with these cards, it's definitely where, you know, this was taken for granted big time. And there is recognition of that now. Very hard to come forth, though, and say sorry. If anything, I feel um, this person comes forth in a more playful manner rather than, um, hey, I screwed up. I feel that eventually like all, it leads to that because that's their intention. Like They don't want to hide behind a mask and not own what they did. It's just how do I do that? How do I go about putting it out there? Um, they're really stirred up emotionally right now about it. So let's pull some more cards. All right, self-healing journey. And I'm actually going to throw these back in and see if they come out again. All right, there we go. So we have change yourself, connection mistaken as twin flame, empathic connection, 
settling in self-worth, and dishonesty and mixed signals. Yep. Um, I feel this person really wants to get back into this person's life, but this person has come to the conclusion that, you know what, you were just a karmic relationship, you played games with my heart, you weren't real, you know, I don't care, uh, empathic connection, all right, soulmate, I don't care that I feel you, I don't care about this connection anymore, you really hurt me, you played games, where have you been, you know, where have you been at, why now all of a sudden are you deciding to talk to me, to be back in my world, like, there's just a big element of mistrust on this side, towards this side, however, on this side, I feel they're really like, hey, uh, I totally screwed up. I totally get that. This connection haunts me. I cannot escape it. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to change, but change is a process, okay? So with the emotions and then the flames, um, as far as the people coming through, I feel like this, even though you're the water, over here is the water energy, like, hey, I'm sorry. Hey, I want to bond. I want to connect. And over here is coming through as fire, not nice fire. Like, oh my God, how dare you come back in my world? Like, who are you? What are you thinking? And it's because their heart, they can't not. They can't not. All right. And so this just jumped out. Uh, gift, opportunity, pleasant surprise. And now look at this, Divine Feminine of Emotions. Authentic, deep, empathic. Definitely an empathic connection going on. But now because we have the Divine Feminine and Masculine, both of emotions, I feel that this uh, Feminine flames over here softens into this and meets this Masculine in the middle emotionally. And now look at this, Divine Masculine of Thoughts. So we have two queens and two kings going on. Um, authentic, and, or, I'm sorry, articulate, intellectual, sophisticated. Pisces, um, I have to say, some of you, there might be a couple of old flames showing back up in your world. Uh, growth, patience, and waiting. And lastly, karmic soul contracts and lessons. Pisces, uh Listen, I kind of feel that you have a, a few people coming back. There's more than one old flame showing up in this reading. Um, and because we have the shadow and then we have uh, the karmic twin flame mistaken as our karmic mistaken as twin flame, I feel that one of these energies returning is definitely karmic and not... Um, meant for any further of the journey but because I have one couple here the divine feminine of emotions and the divine masculine of emotions there is one of these connections that I feel is your soulmate your twin flame your one however you want to look at it but it might be a bit tricky figuring out who is who because there's more than one person showing up in this reading and I, with pleasant surprise, I just kind of feel like, Pisces, you accepted the ending of all, all these connections that are coming back in, even if it hurt, even if you didn't want to, um, you accepted it. And now you're like, whoa, why are you back here? So let's see. We have a loyalty, heart consciousness. Accountability, repeating cycles and lessons, and intimate conversation. So Pisces, yeah, I get the sense that there is like one person returning that um, is a true heart connection and there's meant for more. And there is another person here who is karmic. It's just like it's always going to be the same thing over and over and over again with that person no matter what so how do we distinguish between the two because Pisces I really feel that um, you know 
these two or three people, you had a heart connection with them, okay? It's definitely more than one, okay, that's coming through. You had heart connection with um, all of them, and it's like, well, which one is which? Which, who would I be with? Because I feel whatever's happened in the past was very similar between the two, and um, that's why we're over here in this love yourself energy, maturing, growing, kind of at bay about love, and through that process, it just makes this the energy very attractive and alluring to others. And so there's these old flames showing back up that we never expected to see again. And um, one of them is actually very significant. So the one that is significant, let's look at that. Spirit, show us that one. Right, so there's soul consciousness. I'm not surprised with soulmate up there. Repeating signs. It's like everything always leads me back to you. And, oh, look at that. Nice twin flame journey. Um, that's the one that's significant. Signs always lead back to that person for you and always leads back to you for that person. So, Pisces, um, listen. Your heart will tell you who is who. Um, it's definitely a karmic and a twin flame going on here. Um, Sagittarius and Leo. I don't, oh gosh, I can't remember all of them. But I know Sagittarius and Leo both had strong twin flame. Uh, similar reads to this. Um, maybe Aquarius. I don't think... A, I just can't remember if twin flame stuff came through in Aquarius or not. But... Um, definitely Leo or Sagittarius, okay? So, Pisces, you have a karmic and a twin flame coming back into your world in May, at least the Pisces that I'm reading for in this love story. And, uh, I don't know, I think there may be some confusion of who is who, but... It's the one that you're truly connected with at the soul, like the empathic connection. It just never, ever, ever leaves you. It's just always been there. Every sign leads back to that person forever and always, even if they're the one that hurts you the very most. The one that every sign always leads back, that's your twin flame. That's the one, okay? Because there's more than one showing back up in your world for sure. Um, but they're karmic. There's just one twin flame. And uh, your heart and your soul will know, okay? So those are your messages, Pisces. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.